Beard Award-winning host of the Sporkful podcast, Dan Pashman. Yes, yes. And he's got a new cookbook called Anything's Possible. 81 inventive pasta recipes for saucy people. I love the name. The title of this book is great. And he's helping us elevate two pantry staples. So, Dan, welcome to the show, my Thank friend. Thank you. This is not your traditional pasta cookbook. And the idea it came after you invented your own shape of pasta. That's right. I invented a new shape of pasta called Cascatelli. Go ahead, take a look. Look at yep. that. I especially designed it to hold a ton of sauce. The space in between these ridges, I call that the sauce trough. Right in there, holds a ton of sauce wow. and there's all kind of special textures. And uh, look, everyone in the everyone pasta, in industry, the pasta and industry, industry and my wife said it was a terrible idea. And then it went viral. And then it went viral. One of Time Magazine's best inventions of the year. It's now in stores across really? the country. Wow. Yeah, incredible. Um, it was a dream come true, but there was a problem, Michael. What? Everyone's sending me pictures of what they're cooking with it, and it's all tomato sauce, meat sauce, mac and cheese. I mean, a couple party animals made pesto. Uh. pesto. You know, it made me a little sad because it's like cascatelli aside, there's so much more that we can and should be putting on pasta. But, you you know what, because in your, in your recipe, in your book, yeah. uh, there, there's a jarred tomato um, um, sauce. That's Decision right. tree, That's you call right. it. I wrote an entire cookbook of pasta sauce recipes. Because there's no marinara a, sauce. No, there's no marinara sauce in this cookbook. But I have a jarred tomato sauce decision tree that will show you what, to, you know, there's a lot of great jarred sauces out there. Buy mm -hmm. your favorite jarred sauce and doctor it. You want it spicier, crunchier, add chili crisp. You want to oh, make it creamier yeah. and richer, add ricotta and a fistful yeah. of Parmesan. You want to make it heartier, add some ground meat into it yeah. or, uh, or some pesto. You want to, uh, you can also take an eggplant. You roast the whole eggplant 45 minutes, take it out, scoop out the insides, mix it in with the sauce. Uh, wow. Now your sauce just got a lot heartier and, like and all that. from a jar and, and with very little effort it's great for a weekday night. And that is the decision tree you got right there. That's but you right. gotta show us how to make one of the recipes in the book. This is a pasta pizza where the, wow. the crust is pasta. That's right. We're gonna get pizza where the crust is pasta. So this is already cooked pasta. We cooked it about one minute less than what the box will tell you. Can you get over here, Michael, please help yes. me out. You want me to whisk them? Yeah, this? whisk them eggs, beat the eggs, pretend they're a quarterback. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. So we're gonna see it. So you want, the, you want this pasta to be oiled in. We're mm -hmm. gonna, actually, I'm gonna dump into you right here. Go ahead. That's good, look, look perfect. Nice. All right. And what do we do that. after that? Do I we're we're gonna mix it all together. Mix that around. Mix oh, it around. you got that. I'll, I'll you take got, that. Yeah, you, you don't trust me. <laughs> so you get mix the eggs into the pasta. That's right. So it, it, now we're gonna, we already oiled the sheet pan here. Now you can okay. help me out with your, you might get a little dirty here, Michael. You don't okay, mind getting dirty. Okay. I don't mind. Now we're gonna spread these out. Spread this out. You want a nice th single even layer. Here you go. Even layer. All the way to the edges. All the way to the edges. And this this is gonna be our pasta crust. The, our, our pizza yeah. crust, That's rather. Pizza crust to base. That's right. So you're gonna bake this for about 15 minutes at 425, and it's gonna come out looking like this. Voila! Now we're halfway to a crust, but we gotta chop it. Okay. How do we? Cheese first. A little controversy. Why is the cheese first? Uh, because that's that's like a controversy. Yeah. <laughs> you even soft thin cheese. Years ago, I on my Sporkful podcast, I interviewed New York pizza legend Patsy Grimaldi, and he said, put the cheese on first because the cheese fuses to the crust and you don't get that problem when you bite into the pizza and the, all the cheese slides off. Oh. Oh. All right. It's also, with this specific dish, it's also an advantage because the cheese creates a seal so the sauce doesn't seep through the little gaps in the pasta uh, and, and make the that, bottom yeah. of your pizza all saucy and, and, and uh, soggy. Hey, every time so, somebody says gap, I'm like, are you talking about me, Willis? <laughs> 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 all right, so pizza, they so got the All right, so a little bit of cheese. sauce, get it nice and smeared on top here. And look, you know, all the dishes in this, that, there's man. a lot of great weeknight dishes in this cookbook and a lot of things that are just going to change your pasta game. You know, okay, I think a lot of people are in a pasta rut. And this cookbook has so many different dishes from cacio e pepe with chili crisp oh, to this fantastic. scallion oil bucatini that's got a runny egg on top of the yolk. You break the yolk and it seeps down over the pasta. My kids love that one. I will tell you this. I trust a man who creates his own pasta that is one of Time Magazine's, that, yeah. like, you know, the things best of the invention, year, but yeah. best invention. Yeah, thank this, you. This actually... All right, so that's the pizza, and this is what so, we come out with at the end right here, right? Yeah. That's right. At the end, it looks like this, and, and the idea of this pasta pizza is that it's crispy on the bottom, and you're going to be able to pick it up and eat it like a slice of pizza. This is a great party trick. It's a ton of fun. Well, I'm going to do it once I throw it to commercial because yeah. I can't eat and talk at the same time. But, you know, you go to GoodMorningAmerica.com to get this recipe and pre-order Dan's book, which comes out tomorrow. Do yourself a favor and do that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.